everybody it's me Aurora welcome back and today I've got another book to show you that because you know I love to watercolor and acrylic paint and all that but watercolor I love watercolor I made something that well I don't know I don't know if anything is out there like this but uh, I made this it's a uh, let me see if I can't find my information on this really quick So, this is a nine and a quarter by six and a quarter with a one inch spine book. It has a um, one signature. And these sheets of paper in it are, well, the closure is just a black lace enclosure. And it's just some um, fabric down the side here. The cover here is uh, made out of a really thick, like cardstock, but it's even thicker than cardstock. It's almost like cardboard. Um, it has one signature in it. One. And it's made out of six sheets of Canson XL 140-pound watercolor paper. Now, let me show you why I put watercolor paper in here. Because, let's see, this is a watercolor studio for on the go. So, on the inside cover you have this little booklet and I also put in this little uh, envelope with some washi tape and a couple little bulldog clips so you can hold the pages down but this let's see make sure it's not stuck this is a mini palette this is actual paint it's watercolor paint in yellow scarlet alizarin crimson ultramarine deep green yellow ochre burnt umber and Payne's gray now you might wonder why this isn't just over here that's because this side i put a piece of acetate down so you can actually have like a little mixing palette on this side i mean you wouldn't be able to make like a huge puddle but you could still mix up a little paint there and then that folds up like that and goes into the pocket and then that closes up like that. And then like I said, it's got to be 24 pages front and back of watercolor paper. And this is held in here with, um, it's a waxed thread um, pamphlet stitch, three hole pamphlet stitch. And then on the back side, excuse that, <laughs> on the back I put a Derwent graphic pencil 2B. A waterproof pen by Unipen fine liner, a water pen, a water brush, and an eraser into this little, this is actual um, fabric, and then this holds all your stuff in. So you actually have a water brush to work with. So no, not having to worry about any, you know, glasses of water or anything like that. So the only thing you'd have to have is some paper towel and you're good to go. But literally, you could just grab this and go. You don't have to worry about anything else. Now, I am going to be making another one simply because I realized that after this is all these pages have been painted on or what have you, you can't change it out. So what my next one that I'm going to make is going to have a pad of watercolor paper similar to this, maybe a little smaller, but I'm gonna make it a pocket so it slides in the back. So once it's done, you slide it out and put a new one in. And all these things will be on this side here. So it'll lay flat that way, but all your equipment will be on the front cover. So that's how I'm gonna make the next one. And when I do, I'll, I'll show a video of that as well. But yeah, this is the uh, watercolor studio on the go. For the uh, you know the plain air painter if you want um and then you can always refill that little palette with more paint once those paint dots are gone and there you go and it's uh yeah so this is for sale if anybody wants it um contact me however on youtube or my instagram or my twitter or <laughs> however you want to try and get a hold of me if you want to uh buy this from me or if you'd like to wait for the other one that's i'm gonna have the, the pad in it so um but yeah this is just my my pro my very first prototype of uh 
the watercolor studio on the go. So I hope you enjoyed that. So um, there was one other thing I want I wanted to show you. Uh, is this? It's a little travel. Like if you've gone and you've taken pictures while you were um, on vacation. <laughs> Not now, but we all used to be on vacation. You know, go on vacations. Um, this is just like a little booklet that you can pop pictures into. Each one of these has like places for pictures. Or you could journal in it or whatever. Or you can do both. Put pictures and journal in it. It's up to you. So this I made also. And I love this paper. And these envelopes but this whole thing is just it's just all made out of envelopes and cards and I love the colors and everything the little butterfly so uh, yeah there we go so both of these are for sale and I am also getting very close to 500 subscribers and when I do get to 500 I'll be doing a giveaway and uh, that giveaway is going to be neither of these but <laughs> this one I made this I can't sell it I can however give it away so um, this one is just a little uh, made from some heavy cardstock and it has all sorts of cute little thing and this has again a lot of the Bob Ross artwork in it but uh, it's got some little tuck cards and corner tuck cards I made like a little fake postcard wish you were here um, yeah most of the the uh, pages are, are pockets and flip pockets I think does that flip? no that one doesn't flip yet but uh, yeah just little little journaling cards in here and these pages are held in with an elastic so you can actually change them out if you wanted to some tea stain paper, a little pad I made that you can use. Oh, look, more Bob Ross. I love this pocket though. Because if you pull this out and there's some pretty trees there. Uh, and this one is a flip out, so you can add more things to these pockets. Same on the other side. There's a journaling card in this one. So take that out and show it to you. Oh, come out. And <laughs> Hershey's chocolate. And let's see what else. More tea stained paper on elastic. And another little journaling spot with some tea stained paper in it. Oh, that's not tea stained, that's just regular paper. But still. Some more Bob Ross. And let's see, is this a flip out? Yes, this one flips out. It's more journaling area, pocket for little notes and whatnot. Some more tea stained paper. Another cute little slide out. And I love this one. This is this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I glued the ribbon behind it. It also has a little front pocket and then it opens up to where you can journal on the inside got this lace here and then you just tie it shut again like so my fumbling fingers would do their job and some more tea stained paper on elastic and then a little tuck spot in the back some journaling cards little bit of blingy lace at the bottom and all these stamps you see here like this this is that little rolly tool that I have that you roll on your ink pad and just roll it on the paper and it just it does these really pretty little patterns some of this is hand done that's all hand drawn but yeah this one will be the 500 subscriber giveaway prize so I'm putting this one aside and I will package it up and send it off to whomever when I when I get to that point <laughs> when I do that video this will be the prize so keep your eyes out for that 
So yeah, there's some more looks at some of my journals and uh, I appreciate y'all coming. And like I said, these two are for sale. So if you want to get a hold of me and uh, purchase these, please do. Um, you can DM me on Instagram. I will leave my link in the box below. And uh, yeah, I sure do appreciate y'all watching. And I will see you in my next video. Love you bunches. Bye.